Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Hop in a chopper and take to the skies to defeat the bad guys in Mission Cobra. I don't know who the enemies are or what they want with me, but I'm going to kill them. Seemingly unending numbers of fighter jets and other aircraft will fall before you. This chopper is so advanced it even makes its way into space. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Your chopper automatically flies to the top of the screen and you can kill all the enemies that fly at you by pressing the A button. You have an energy reserve that depletes as you go fly through the level and when you get hit by enemies and bullets. Occasionally enemies will drop a power up. One of these is an energy cell that increases your energy level by 10 points. Another is a reservoir that sets your energy level to 66. Another is a shield that protects you from energy drain. There are also weapons that are dropped. You start with a single beam, but can upgrade to a double beam, the triple beam, a four-way shot that shoots in all cardinal directions, or the angled shot, which shoots one ahead and one at the 45s. I preferred the triple beam and angled shot as my go-to weapons. Just like the four-way, because you can only shoot one set of beams on screen at a time, but it did make one of the bosses really easy. Levels consist of three portions and a boss. The first portion is a swarm of enemies. This finishes with a battle against two heavily armored black choppers. If you destroy them, they leave you 30 energy. And the second wave of enemies, which is just like the first, this leads into the speed up portion, which is the same as before, except the background elements move by really quickly. This is capped with a battle against a boss. Each of them shoot projectiles at you and require you to destroy all firing ports to destroy them. You're then given your point total. Once you beat the third level, it loops for you to play again and again and again. When it comes to grading Mission Cobra on NES, graphics get a 1.0. It doesn't look good. In fact, it's pretty bad. Sound gets 0.5. There are some really annoying sound effects with no music to temper them. Gameplay gets 2.0. I'll give Mission Cobra some props for not giving me constant one-hit deaths and resembling a functioning shoot-em-up. Difficulty gets a 1.5. You only get one life. So see how far you can go. Fun Factor gets 0.5. It's really boring. Overall, Mission Cobra earns a 1.1 and gets a D. It's not a good game. Not the worst thing I've ever played, but not good at all. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video. Let me know what you think of Mission Cobra in the comments. And please subscribe to Head Drop Productions here on YouTube because we want to hear for each and every video we release. Because it is your destiny. <laughs>